Hey there, welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of tiny and creative homes and showcase stories of people living alternatively. In today's video, we're gonna take a tour of another tiny house community, this time in Arizona. The whole idea behind this community was to provide an affordable option for middle-class families in an area that's usually only reserved for the upper class. The owner is gonna talk about how he had to fight to get this community made and what the neighbors think about it now. It was by far the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And while the houses in this community are tiny, they also have a hint of luxury. If you like these kind of stories, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time I publish a new video. But right now, let's take a tour of Luxtony Tiny House Community. My name's Steve Dedman. Just want to welcome you guys to my community, Luxony. My inspiration for creating this is affordability. You know, up here in the mountains, the cost of living is outrageous. So the average cost of a home up here right now is $400,000, $500,000 for a double white home. Our homes are anywhere between sixty dollars and $100,000. It's affordable living. You're part of a community. And so for me, it was all about affordability and allowing people that maybe don't have the $100,000 a year career come up and actually have a nice place to live in a beautiful area. I bought this property really based on the location and having sewer. In 2013, I secured the land. I started down the process to get the utilities in. And it was a constant battle of red tape and marking and you can't do this and it doesn't really fit into the code. And what does this even mean? What's a tiny house? Where does it fit? It doesn't, it's not, in our, it's not in our codes. It's not in a jurisdiction. How can you put it in here? By the end of it, it was understood that this is not what you think it is. These are custom homes. Here's the community layout. Here's what we plan to do here, how big the spaces are. It was by far the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. We fought through, got our approval in 2016. All the backlash that I received through the county, through the city, through the surrounding residents, all squashed. Once we started developing and they see what we've created, now they're thankful for it. One of the big things was I always wanted to have my family involved. This was the very first structure here at Luxony, I put all my kids' names in the concrete so that years and years and years from now, they can come back and know that the very first thing I was thinking about was my kids. People do pay space rent. They pay anywhere between $349 to $419 a month. Includes their water, sewer, and trash. They don't own the land. However, there's this sense of pride. I want people to live and enjoy their spaces. I want people to have chicken coops. I want people to have storage. I want people to have their own gardens. I want people to live comfortably and feel like it's their property, it's their home. We're 100% full, I have nothing available, but we're gonna open up phase three. And in phase three, we're gonna have eight to 10 more spaces and we're finally get to do some of the amenities. Everybody is a community. Everybody with the same idea of living and helping one another. That's what I feel that the community is. That's what it's about and that's what I want Lux and you to be known for. I wanted a home that would pull people in. You know, a lot of the mobile homes you see are just factory pushed. It's just one after another. And I've created a manufacturing. We built all these custom homes. And this is actually me working with the client and then saying, well, we want to do this. And it's fun because when you drive through, you see the community, you see the homes, everything's different. It's a destination. People now, they hear Luxony and they're like, we wanna go see that place. When I developed this community, what I couldn't find was a reliable tiny home builder that would build to the specifications that I personally wanted for our community. So I created our own manufacturing company. This is one of our custom tiny home park models. This one's 399 square foot. This right now is one of our rentals. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom.
and my idea behind most of my homes was a little bit bigger and I wanted to connect a guest home for anybody that wanted to have people over. So we created an area where we have a connecting deck, a guest house and a home all in one, all on the same property. Cause I know living tiny, it's difficult having people over if we just don't have the room for it. And this particular design, we have its own bathroom, Murphy bed, linen closet. So it's designed for a guest to stay here for quite a long time and be very comfortable. I want to talk a little bit about what we have going on here, what we've done. We started initially with 45 spaces here. And at this point, we're right around 27 developed. We've done two phases already, three different roads that we're gonna have in here. We have a cul-de-sac and eventually we'll have our phase three. We're hoping to start by the end of this year. Would you guys come on, take a look. This started in 2013 and it took until 2016, a lot of fighting and eventually we were able to pull through and the government and the county decided it was something that they'd appreciate. Now the community's come on board, everybody loves it. And you can see what we've created. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. So I appreciate everyone that was on board with me and what it took, it was work. And here we are in the back of the property. We're starting our walking path. This is gonna connect phase one, two, all the way over to three, over to our gathering area. We're at a 6,700 foot elevation and we're in Arizona. So a lot of people think about Arizona and it's 180 degrees outside. People don't want to be outside. What they don't know is we actually get snow here. And the climate here is very mild. It's within just a couple of miles. We have multiple lakes, just a beautiful area. So this is one of our corner lots. And this is one of our most lived in, most decorated lots, but one of my absolute favorites. And this is what we have in the community. We have a pride of ownership. Everybody loves being here. Everybody wants to be outside. They're working on their properties. And this is what we end up with. This is another one of our tiny rentals that we have out here. Most of our rentals in here are designed as test drives. I want you guys to come up, take a tour, stay in it for a couple of nights, see if you like it, and decide if you want to buy one. We always want to connect our guest homes with a beautiful deck. We have another 200 square foot patio, private side yard, and a guest house. This one's done pretty fancy, trundle bed, sleeps a couple more in here, really done some nice furnishings in this one. And then another very large bathroom. So we walked through a couple of our rentals here. We got another one. This one's designed a little bit different. Inside, it's more of a cabinet feel. Everything is wood. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. Check this one out. So this client wanted all wood. That's what we've done, but we've upgraded the countertops. Everything in here is a Corian countertop. There's a bigger kitchen. It's designed for full-time living. So they lived in this home for three years, and now they rent their home they want everybody else to feel what it's like to live where they lived and in the cabin feel of this. This is just beautiful. You walk in here, king size bed. Who doesn't want a king size bed when you're on vacation? We have storage, TV, large bathroom, full size washer and dryers, full size walk-in shower. It's designed to live in full time. We've done a tour, we looked at our homes, and part of what I wanted to discuss with you is phase three. We got another two acres. We're gonna put in between eight to 10 spaces here in phase three, and then this is also where we're gonna put a lot of the amenities. I wanna do a gathering spot. We talked about a dog run. We're gonna put in some storage area, and then we're also gonna try and put in the community garden out here. We want everybody to be able to live here, grow their food, you know, if they want a chicken coop, our spaces are large enough, they can actually have a chicken coop. You know, anything they need to just live and be sufficient in their life and be comfortable. That's all we're trying to do here. Just the phrase Luxtony. When I want people to understand when they say that, just that term, I want them to go, yes, that's a place I could live. 
that's an affordable community that's done everything right. It doesn't cost a ton of money, but it feels luxury. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you're interested in seeing more tiny house communities across the United States, I have a whole playlist ready for you. So check it out in the description and I will see you soon with another tiny or unique home tour.